Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Uh, so from now on I will have a series of videos on visualization and today we will learn about table visual in both format tabular and matrix. So the primary goal of the visualization is to deliver the information clearly and effectively to the consumers and that's why choice of the visual is very critical. Selecting the wrong visual, sometimes uh, it hard to uh, understand that data and sometimes even it result in a misinterpretation of the data. So we will learn each visual that where you can use that and how to format it. So um, let's get started. Uh, where do you use a table or matrix? So when you want your consumer to uh, compare the values of data side by side, uh, in that case you use the uh, table visual. For example, if you wanted to compare the sales data of one region to another region by values, in that case you use the table or matrix. In my case, I most of the time I use on the, uh, when I use the drill through, and I use the tabular form of the data um, on a detail page. So when a user wants to uh, know more detail uh, from the visual, then they use the drill through and they can get the, they can see the actual data behind it. Okay. So let's go to the Power BI and start. So as you can see, I have a couple of tables here in my fields pane and I'm going to uh, select this table visual from visualization pane and I'm going to fit it to the page, okay? And I'm going to use my year from the calendar, uh, then my channel name, then my um, product brand name, and the sales amount from the sales table okay sales amount okay okay so as you can see on the table it keep adding the column of your choice one by one from left to the right and it always expand on the right hand side you can see here that it only allows you to put it in a one space under the value so you can keep adding the uh, columns here but if I choose the matrix, so my visual is selected and if I click on the matrix, it will turn it to a matrix. And you can see now that my uh, table is a lot smaller and I have three options here to expand it, like two options. This one is drill up, but this one is expand it to the next level. And if I drill up again, then this this one is expanded to the all level okay so i'm going to expand it and now you can see all the data is there but if i don't want to show all data at first sight then i can change it as well okay so that is that on the matrix visual on the table visual as well you have some um, more options here as well on the under this three dot and if you open it, you have a, a little bit like sorting and that kind of sort by year or sort by values or sales amount. Uh, if you wanted to remove the visual, show as table or export the data, all the options are here. Now, uh, let's see that uh, we have here on the matrix, you have, you can see here we have row section, we have columns section and we have values as well. So you can put it, uh, the columns in three different areas of your choice. Okay. So this is only the difference between table and the matrix. Um, uh, other than that, they are similar. So uh, the matrix is nothing but it's like pivot table. So it's pivoting the data of your choice. Now I don't want this first thing. I don't want this uh, total column here. So I'm just going to click on this format tab and I'm just going to type in tot, total or tot. Then I, I will have the option uh, like you can see that I have an option and uh, you can use this search bar if you are in rush you can easily find the things there okay so for the row subtotals i'm going to leave it because i want my row subtotals okay so uh, that is that but i wanted to remove my column subtotals so if i turn off then i that column is gone so that is that okay 
now i'm going to remove it and just leave it as okay as it is now we will learn by a section by section so in general section then you have your visual exposition and y position on the on the page with their width and height um, uh, numbers i don't really use it because you can change the width and height by this as well by using the edge uh, as well so but it's in the in there okay in the style section then you have couple of different styles of the visual if you want for me default always works so i leave it but you can use it okay then under the grid you have vertical and horizontal grid option so if you want a line between your columns then you can use the vertical grid you can see that uh, light gray line is here between two columns if i change the color you will clearly see so that is that for me i don't want it so i'm going to turn it off uh the same thing then for the rows as well uh but before that we have padding as well so you can use the padding if you want like a, a room around your uh, values then you can you can increase the padding okay uh by default it's one then you can change the outline color so uh, outline color is like our outline is here you can change that you can change the outline weight uh, for example this uh, by default it's one so i'm going to leave it as it is you can change the text here uh, and and then on the uh, row headers and the column headers so on uh, the column headers then uh, you can change the font color background color all the font activity you can increase the font make it bold the alignment you i you normally use a center because i want my headings in a center so you can do that title alignment you can do word wrap you can do the similar thing on the row headers as well like this on the row headers you can change the font color background color uh this is interesting the stepped layout so currently we have uh, two values in a row uh, year and our um, um product category and both are showing in a like step manner like a uh, 2011 and then underneath that if i turned off this dead, uh, stepped layout you can see that here they are on two, two separate columns now okay so you can do that as well i'm just going to leave it as it is but you can do that by this property okay um then uh you can change the fonts font size usual stuff the interesting one other interesting stuff here is icon so if i turn on just just keep an eye here if i turn on you will see the plus sign there okay so this is uh it's open so minus but plus sign so i i want this kind of uh thing here so if the people want then they can expand it but other than that uh just leave it on that um on that mode okay so that is that icon property uh you can change icon color font size etc then there is a value section so in our values we have this um sales data here you can change the font color background color all that thing here okay um the usual stuff text size and all that you can do the same stuff on the subtotal and grand total as well so for the subtotal i wanted to do one thing though uh that my, i want my subtotals you can see here our subtotal is on top so this total is belongs to all this category which i want at the end okay so we are going to change that and yeah it's here so row subtotal position i want it in bottom so you can have here okay so that is that then what else we have grand total as well uh at the end a grand total and if you wanted to change anything there if you wanted to increase the font size there to clearly differentiate it then you can do that um now we have a field formatting so uh, i'm going to do uh, do that so uh, let's see 
on the sales amount server values. If you wanted to change their uh, unit, then you can change it here like in millions. So you, your table a uh, lot smaller. Okay, so you can do that. Um, you can do the conditional formatting then. So uh, all, all other stuff is here, alignment, uh, apply headers, apply to apply to headers, apply to values. That is enough for me. Now on the conditional formatting then, uh, we want our background, um, background color change. So let's do that. So I turned on and it's automatically changed according to the values. However, you can use the advanced control as well. Okay. So we look at that. Uh, however, let's de do this first, the data bars. So I'm going to turn off this and if you turn on just a data bar, that also looks very good and uh, you can, the user can have an idea uh, from the data bar size, okay, about the, uh, the value. Uh, so let's do now the background color again, advanced control. The same thing you can do on the font color as well, advanced control. I'm going to show you here uh, just on the background color. So currently it's on gradient and so you can see that it has a two colors and it changing color from one to another. You can add third color as well here if you want. Uh, we are going to learn though about the rules. So you can create your own rules on the sum of the sales. Okay. And you can use the percentage. We are going to learn on the number though. Okay. So number and let's see from zero to uh, less than number and uh, I'm going to use my 0 to 3 million. Okay, the red color. Then we can add the new rule and now 3 million higher than 3 million uh, and less than uh, 30 million. Okay, then my uh, color should be yellow and the third rule is if it's greater than uh, 30 million uh, number and uh, 300 million okay and then it should be the green color okay nice green color okay and let's click on okay and you can see colors with the conditional formatting okay so you can your user can see by even numbers that what is going on here like you can see that stores uh, selling is really high most of the time it's in green except this uh, brand so um this is all about uh, table and matrix guys is if you like the uh, content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thanks for